And I just think his body is shutting down and I don't want him to waste away. So if he doesn't eat today, I have to start making plans and talk to my, my vet, Dr. Mike Gillen. Come on, buddy, do it for me, man. Just eat, just eat for me. But let's get him out in some sunshine so that we can just have a look at his movements and just see what's going on. I don't want to give up on him. It's always tough when you see an animal start to decline in health. Hey, what's going on everyone? Ken in here and that's Colin. And this might be one of his last videos, friends. He has not eaten in a few months. Um, he isn't deathly skinny, but he's getting skinnier. He is an extremely old snake. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennedy. This week's special shout out goes to Justin Carlton. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. Um, I got Colin about 10 years ago as an adult, uh, and he was already old then. Uh, the people didn't exactly know how old he was, but this snake is probably 15, 16 years old at the moment. Um, this is definitely the upper echelon of age for a coastal carpet python. Um, I, I've been trying to feed him every week for the last couple of months, and he's just not eating, man. So it's bumming me out and I want to try and feed him again today. I want to document this with you guys um, because I'm hoping he'll eat. And if he does eat, um, that's a good sign. But if he doesn't, I'm going to have to start making a decision because I've had this happen with a diamond python. Um, and, you know, he's I noticed when he moves, he's a little bit jerky. He's getting older and I just think his body is shutting down and I don't want him to waste away. So if he doesn't eat today, I have to start making plans and talk to my, my vet, Dr. Mike Gillen, about potentially um, putting him to sleep in a humane way. But let's hope he eats. We got a nice warm rat here, okay? So we got a nice rat and we're gonna see if we could tempt him. Uh, we're gonna just make this rat look like there. he's alive. Yeah, go on in there. Oh, I can get in there if you want. We can both get in there. Yeah, well, we've well, done it before. Yeah, no, you you can. If we do it like this, you know, yeah, it'll be better we'll, for you. Yeah, it'll be better and for everyone else. So let's see. So here we go. His tongue's flicking. I just I don't want to touch him with it. I just want to see if he's interested in this rat. And it looks like he is, guys. Sometimes they'll go off feed for a while, but it, the temperatures have gotten better here. And he used to eat oh, yeah. very good. I mean, he's looking, yeah, he's looking interested. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Do it for me, man. Just eat. Just eat for me. I don't know. I like the tongue flicks. Maybe he's getting himself into a better position. I don't know. But again, no luck at the moment. Again, this snake would take food all the time. God, he looks so weak. He does in a way, doesn't he? I mean, he doesn't look he's at least responsive normally. And... Yeah, he doesn't look emaciated, but he's definitely a little bit thinner. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Right there. Take this. Take this. It was it was much different. Um, approach though I want what's, him to strike it and wrap what's what was the last thing we fed him it was a rat it was it was a rat it was a few months ago but you know like I said this this is just interesting there's a little bit of interest but um normally by now he would have struck at it come on buddy And I haven't noticed any kind of rot in his mouth. Sometimes snakes will go off feed if there's stoma, stom, I believe it's stomatitis. Um, it's mouth rot, but there's nothing like that happening. He's been in this enclosure for a while. And nothing can really get in here, so he's not really getting. No, there, there's nothing else that can get in here, but this is a bummer, man. I mean, cause I see a little bit of interest, but this, you know, normally, Obviously, guys, those of you who keep snakes know that if they're hungry, 
and you bring a rat in here for them, they will really eat it. And I had left the rat before, and I actually left the rat, and when I came back, the rat was still there, and uh, was starting to decompose. So, oh, is that what you mean by jerky movement? Yeah, it's just non-deliberate. Just a little bit jerky. Let's have them. Let's pull them out, and we can get a better idea. I want to watch him. I'll. Here, I'm going to show you. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's how he uses his body to kind of wrap around something. Oh, it's, but we want to pull him out. And I want to show you something that I notice on the underside of the snake is where you can start to see that he's getting thin. You see this? You can yeah, kind of yeah. see that he's starting to get thin. But let's get him out in some sunshine. Let me see if I can Want to take him. the rat? Yeah, we're going to take the rat. I'm going to go ahead and let him crawl around. Um, in the sun, just let them walk around, or slither around rather, so that we can just have a look at his movements and just see what's going on. Because, I mean, I don't want to give up on him. Definitely not. But let's see if we just, why don't you see, maybe we'll warm him up a bit. But coastal carpet pythons are awesome. They're a member of the, obviously, uh, carpet python. Um, they are found in Australia, and they're the largest of the carpet pythons. And they are just really, really cool. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I thought he was going to take it. Geriatric carpet python. Yeah, I thought he was going to take it. I. I I thought wow. he actually really does not have any interest. None at all. Wow. Now, I didn't really expect that to happen out here, but, you know, I thought maybe if he's out in the sun here, he's more interested in finding a place to hide, I think. But they are really cool snakes. I love all the carpet pythons. Um, look at this, he's kind of coming up to the... It's so strange. You know? It's always tough when you see an animal start to decline in health. Uh, one that, you know, it's just... One that's always been around. Uh, you know, Colin's always been here. He may not be one of the bigger stars on the channel, but, you know, I, I love having him. He's a beautiful snake. Uh, he was a snake that I took in, like I said, about 10 years ago now. And um, he's tame, which is interesting because uh, many of these guys, um, they're a little bit bitey, uh, generally. People were always amazed. I had him at some reptile shows. They were like, no way, this guy's... Uh, a pretty tame uh, carpet python, you know? Um, but I love the carpet pythons because I love this meaty head they have. Excuse me, buddy, I'm sorry. I love this kind of like muscular. The, the muscular head. I love that angle. I, I just think they're really cool looking. And um, they are an active snake, which is neat, you know? Uh, they will wander around on the ground. They're happy up in the trees. It's really neat to see them because I like their behavior. And you guys know, I really enjoy animals that have interesting behavior that kind of move around a bit, that do things. Um, it's always more fun for me to uh, interact with animals like that and to have cool habitats for them. But lately, uh, Colin has just been staying in one spot. He's not really been very active. Even now, normally in the, in the past when I would bring Colin out, he'd be whipping around, he'd be, you know, hey, what's going on? He's wrapping around me, but this is just a whole lot different than he normally is. And the only thing that I can attribute it to is just that I think he's just getting older. Um, and I think that he is um, starting to shut down because this is a long time. So it's kind of a bummer, man. Um, you know, like I said, I'm not seeing any outward examples of disease. Oh. There's nothing happening in his nares. Uh, there's no discharge from his mouth. So I'm not seeing a respiratory problem, which would be indicative of, you know, you know, would keep them off feed. 
Um, that's important. Um, he's got, you know, if you look right here, he's got the labial pits, the holes, the heat seekers right there on his uh, lips uh, that help him find warm-blooded prey, whether it's a bird or a mammal like this rat. Um, in Australia, these guys will eat small mammals like their possum. Uh, you know, uh, they'll also eat flying fox. They'll eat lizards, other snakes. Um, they're really incredible snakes. And um, they are something else to see in the wild. It's so amazing to be in Australia and to see these guys. And in Australia, they're bred as pets. And they have different colorations and so on. Uh, similar to what people do with ball pythons here in the States. But in Australia, you're not allowed to have any non-native uh, reptiles or amphibians. So the Australians work basically with their native species. Um, and they've got a lot of cool snakes, so that's pretty awesome. But again, uh, we're not seeing real interest in this food item, which is a total bummer. This is we, so much different than last time. What didn't we have him right over there in the grass? Yeah, we were feeding him. It would have been a while back. Yeah, he was. Uh, I've just never seen him. Even when you pick him up to carry him, I've never seen him so yeah, he's, jumpy. It's just strange. But like I said, we're not we're not seeing. I want to just look at his head. You know, I'm not seeing just just the way he. You know, he's just a little bit. He's this is weak. You know, this is not, uh, sorry buddy, okay. this is just not normal call. you know, a little bit, he's trying to get himself righted up. He seemed like he didn't want to leave the cage, Enclosure, too. I know. like he was grabbed, that was the first kind of muscular thing he did was grab, oh he wants to grab onto the, yeah, yeah, I don't know, I don't know guys, I am, um, so should we show Kate this video before she uh, comes sit on this chair? Oh, she's <laughs> fine. But my, my concern is for Colin at the moment, oh, know. you know. It's just, you know, just he's a little off. It's just not something I'm used to seeing here. His, but I, his movements do seem like a little bit weirder, a little bit different. Yep. Not so strong, I guess, which is worse than I expected. Yeah, and again, like I said, when you look at the belly, you can start to see um, so that what, there's there's a little bit of, you know, you could just The kind light of tell. coloring? No, it's not the coloring. It's just the shape. Uh, we, we're losing body fat in here, so he is getting a little bit thin. Um, I would really love it if he ate. That would just change the whole dynamic here. So maybe if we fake him out and say, look, look, it's a... What about just this rat? Yeah, it just goes right by it. He's not interested. Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to. I mean, he's still so alive that it's part of me just doesn't want to make this decision. But it's tough, man. I just don't want to do it. Uh, until Would he's... you bring him to see the doc? Yeah, I'm probably going to bring him to see Dr. Mike. Mike is uh, very good with snakes and I can ask his opinion. So that's probably what I'm gonna do, friends. I'll bring him to Dr. Mike and ask him what he thinks. Uh, and if we wind up having to make that decision, we know that Dr. Mike will will definitely do it in the most humane way possible. But it's, it's hard to make that kind of decision with an animal you love. We got a little tick right here that I'll pull off. Just got a little tick on him. Toss that, those bugs will get it. Or those fish, rather. Make sure he doesn't have any other ticks on him. Wow, see he's anything. starting to move a little better. Yeah, maybe that's why I wanted to get him out yeah. here and warm him up in the sun. Maybe that's part of it. It's definitely warm. Yeah. It's too bad he doesn't have any interest in that. I thought for sure. I don't know why I had hope. Well, you know what I might do? I think maybe we're going to go ahead and move him. Let's move him into um, the spare cage I okay. have over here i think it'll get a little bit more sun and uh, it's got a nice place to hide in it as well um it could i'm willing to give that a shot maybe it'll kind of get him but you see that jerkiness it's weird maybe that'll help him out let's try moving him to a new enclosure we'll get him a little bit more sun maybe that'll help him thermoregulate better if he's hiding on that shelf it's possible that he's just trying to get some sun and warm himself up maybe he's just not at the proper temperature 
Um, and because that's kind of covered in uh, a lot of trees and stuff like that, uh, that could potentially be the problem. So let's just have a look. Although he was eating during the winter without any issue. So I don't know, and our temps have definitely gone up, so I tickle his little butt there. We gotta just tickle him a little bit to get him to unwrap. Let's do this. And again, we're gonna get that rat on those tongs. Let's pull him out. All right, buddy, all right, I know, I know. I know. But he is a little goofy. He's definitely a little wonky. Oh, he's wrapping around my leg here. All right, buddy. Let's go for a walk. Let's go over here. And that's the cool thing about having a spare cage because we may need it. Now, I wonder if his presence will freak out the uh, iguanas just seeing a big old snake because you know what? These guys eat lizards, so we don't want to we don't want to feed a lizard to these uh, to to our buddy here. But what we will do is come on in here. Watch your head, Matt. You don't want to hit that. Oh my God! I didn't see him there. Oh, there's <laughs> hey, there's. Papa. I almost stepped on. Look at Lolo. They're looking for some sun. We've been having kind of a rainy day, but here are these maniacs. Check this out. Come on in. But you see, this is a nice little setup. And there's, watch out, this is not bad. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of uh, really nice. We got a nice water bowl. We got things to climb on here. It's a secure enclosure. It is for a snake. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Oh yeah, we had the Argus in here. That's right. I'm probably gonna move this. Kind of like how that moves. But let's see where he goes. Yeah, Come on in. I think he's gonna just look around. Check it out. Come on in. Yes, yeah. I see you. Yeah. One of the Which maniacs. Is my only hesitation, because you are a nut. Yeah, he won't bite you though. I do, I'll tell you what, I do want to move this because I think he can knock that down. Put it on the ground, we'll get it on. Yeah, there. I'll just put it right down there. Is he going over there behind or in Yeah, the he's hole? going behind, I think. He's not in the hole, is he? Not yet, he's just going behind it. Here he is. Checking out his new digs. We've got water, fresh water gets put in there from this little dripper. So, like I said, it's just a good spot for him. Um, I'm going to try this again. The lizards are moving. So I guess that's what we're gonna do, friends. We're just gonna switch him out of here, see if the sunlight um, helps him thermoregulate. Maybe he just needs to raise his body temperature a little bit more. Um, but like I said, uh, this is now um, the second month with no food. And I've been trying and uh, I don't like that. So we're gonna go ahead and hope for the best. I'll let you know what goes on with Colin, um, how he turns out. I'll be sure to uh, keep you guys abreast of everything we do here at the camp. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And uh, keep your fingers crossed for good old Colin, because um, as I mentioned, as he's not one of the more famous or um, the, the he, he is a recurring character here, and I do love him. Uh, so there you go, everybody. Here's home for the best. Talk to you soon. Thanks.